streamed live, but it is not going to be, you won't be in it. It'll just be me. Um, so, so today I was thinking about this edge of the edge of our breath, the edge of our blood flow, where it shifts from the, uh, our, uh, the arterial flow that's nourishing us and then coming back. So I'm calling this class transitional flow. And it's about finding those spaces where there's a little suspension before the shift comes. So it's like, there's the tide going in and the tide going out. There's the breath coming in and the breath going out. There's the, the, the flow of the blood nourishing. And then there's the return, the venous flow where it's taking away waste. So I really wanna focus on that edge place where the shift is happening. So let's just start it with the breath coming in for a landing in our bodies, tuning into the rise and fall of the breath wave. And you can do this in any way that feels comfortable, laying down, in a chair, in bed, on the floor, moving, really anything that's, that's uh, nourishing for you right now today. So just coming into the breath and feeling the top of the breath and that little suspension before it goes into the exhale and then feeling that suspension at the bottom of the breath before it comes back to inhale. And maybe allowing a little bit more space at the edges. So a little bit more time in the suspension before the inhale comes in or before the exhale goes, the inhale goes out or the exhale, I'm saying it all backwards, but before the breath changes. So giving yourself maybe a little extra moment of pause in that space of fullness or in that space of emptiness. And you could think like on the inhale, filling, 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 or inhaling, 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 and then suspension, exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. And there's a kind of emptiness in that, in that exhale space before you come back to the inhale tuning into that and feeling what the flavor, the texture, the sensation is in that space, what your awareness notices. And what comes online for you in that space. And we're gonna invite in a few different things. Uh, micro movement, which can just be any kind of little awareness of the breath or any little flow, fluid movement anywhere in your body, which may turn into macro movement, but inviting movement in or the awareness of movement, whether it's just on the breath level or whether it's really expansive all the way out to the distal edges of your body. And we could also think that, that the furthest traveling that our blood has to go is out to our fingertips and out to our toes. So thinking of those capillary ends at the fingertips and toes where the blood flow is going out, nourishing, 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 and then it switches and comes back through the veins, eliminating waste, detoxifying. So we have this feeding ourselves and this letting go and cleaning ourselves that's going on without having, ever having to do anything. So allowing that process and that flow to happen, seeing if you can just take a little bit of time in that suspension at the edge before it comes back in. And let's add some theta breath to this. So theta breath is gonna be a really soft hiss sound, very gentle, like the steam being released from a radiator, very soft and gentle. And you can take resting breaths whenever you need them. And the resting breath can be just normal breathing. So we're not trying to make our exhale last forever, just as long as it's comfortable. And as soon as you feel the need to let that go, 
let it go and then come back in with an inhale. It might take us a little bit away from that, that edge of suspension, but let's just allow the down regulation to come in with the, with the theta breath and maybe some micro movement to come online. giving your body full permission to move. So we've spent our lifetime learning how not to move and how to control our bodies and how to really be specific if we are moving. Now let your body move as if it's just moving the way it wants to move. So body has freedom, micro movement bubbling up, radiating outward, energy radiating outward, coming to those distal edges and coming back in, maybe just in the breath, maybe in the blood flow out to the edges of those capillary, capillaries and coming back in, which are also in our organs. Like the, it's, the, it's everywhere within our body. Capillaries are all throughout where the arterial flow, bringing oxygen and nourishment to our body switches around in the capillary to come back as venous flow. So we're just tuning into that. On a larger scale body level, we could think of this as a core center distal relationship coming from the core out to the edge and then finding the moment where the impulse wants to switch and come back in. So it could be movement just in your mind or it could be movement on a full body level. So letting it be whatever feels right to you right now, whatever's gonna be most nourishing and delicious. Center to edge and edge to center. And inviting the dance of the flow of your movement to happen anywhere in that. So I'm calling this transitional flow because there's a flow outward and then what happens? That's the transitional flow. And then there's a flow back inward or inward with the breath, little space, and then exhale, little space finding the richness of that almost empty suspended place while the change happens. Maybe it's not empty at all. Maybe it's very full. So whatever's happening in your experience. I also want to add that this exploration doesn't have to really be happening. Like I inhale and this happens and then I exhale and this happens in your imagination. It could be happening two or three times on an inhale, two or three times on an exhale, allowing your own imaginal flow to work with the movement or the breath or the, the images in any way that feels interesting. So you're tuning into what feels interesting and what feels curious? What are you? What is your awareness drawn to? Like, mm, what's happening here? What's really happening? What do I really feel from this center to edge relationship? What if I hang out in that boundary a little longer? Allowing your body to tune into that suspension as the switch happens. And maybe as you're in there, you can start to sense or hear, depending on what kind of what's going on, if you have earbuds in, for me, it's really easy to hear my heartbeat. So I can hear that flow, that natural flow going on of the heartbeat, right? The pulse of my blood moving through my body. And even the pulse of that blood has like a push and then a release, push, release, push. So even there, there's a action shifting, right? Moving, 
pause, move, pause, move. So feeling into those spaces, movement, pause. And for me, this sort of negative space around my fingertips has become very interesting. It may be the negative space around your body as well. Imagining your energy going out and sort of hanging out just out there before it comes back in. And the different electromagnetic fields of our body sort of have different reaches. And our hearts have a huge expansive electromagnetic field. So there is this sense of connected energy and that electrical force moving outward, coming back. Tuning into that sense of connection in this energetic field of heart energy, this pulsing heart energy, which is sending the blood outward in our material bodies, nourishing, 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 and then returning. And I'm gonna add some music to this. So feel free to take everything in as, as feels interesting to you. It could be, your exploration can be very different than whatever I'm talking about. We could just be enjoying this time within the field of movement and consciousness at this together, whether it's sometime in the future, or even right now. For the people who are in the room right now. And we're gonna use Jeff Gersh Ambient Fields. Try not to blast us out with it. Allowing that music to, or allowing your body to tune to the waves of the music, the life force of the music, inviting your cells to dance with that. Seeing if you can tune to these edges, the sort of shifts where we go out and then we come back. And this could be on the floor, standing, whatever feels good and nourishing for your own system, for your own body. Inviting your own nervous system to come into harmony with your heartbeat, with your breath, so that we're coming into a coherence just by giving ourselves the time to tune inward. Full permission for yourself and your body to express in any way. And if you find judgment arising or resistance arising, just notice that it's there. No need to change it. Just showing up in the flow of your experience. Showing up in the flow of being right now. And if the stream of thoughts becomes very engaging, see if you can step outside of it and watch it as a stream of thoughts. Using sensation, physical sensation and breath to bring you back into the moment in your experience, in your body. And the physical sensation really can come from any of the senses. 
right? Even the vision, in a sense, is a physical, I don't know, maybe it's not really a sensation. The sensation of seeing. But we can also tune to the sensation of movement in our body, our proprioception, our kinesthetic awareness, our awareness of our movement in relationship to the space around us, our interoception, our sensation of our inner life, the movement of our organs, and the sensation within our bodies. Noticing your own pulses, flows, and the sort of pause suspension places where things shift. Or just sticking with one concept and really deep diving into that. There may be different rhythms happening at different levels of your awareness. Or at different levels of your experience, polyphonic. polymorphic so things are shifting and changing maybe at different rates suspended over here while something is moving over there at all we are one whole connected body living in a connected world connected to the planet the air the water the earth the energetic fields and within the system of our body there is also no separation, right? Our lungs are hugging our heart. There's that gentle massage and our diaphragm is moving up and down, squishing into our organs. And then within all of that, our nervous system is routing through, moving through our fascia. So coming back to this idea of these distal sort of edges of the, of the 
arterial flow where it turns the capillaries do their work nourishing the organs and then removing the waste to go back along the venous line coming back into this idea of those suspensions and this core distal relationship going out to the edge and coming back in that has to be in balance within the system. In some kind of balance. And inviting that balance, inviting the, the freedom of that flow to be spacious. So that even in those little capillary edges where things are shifting, there's infinite space or at least the sense of spaciousness, inviting that in. Allowing the veins to receive and remove waste and allowing the body to compost and release anything that is no longer serving you, anything that you're ready to let go of, any tension pattern, any sort of adhesiveness, any sort of calcification that is not serving, letting your body really through flow, recompost that stuff. Or maybe it's some old, outdated idea of who you are. And if it's a should, if there are some shoulds in there, let those just wash away. Or could have, it might have, if only, let all that just wash away so you can be present in what is. What if this is exactly right? What's happening right now? Your bespoke life made exactly for you. By you. In this infinite flow. What if you belong right here, right now? yourself to suspend out to the edge of the possibility and then returning back in eliminating whatever you're ready to let go of whatever toxicity is in there whatever waste whatever you're ready to let go of making room for the new flow the new suspension, this particular moment, the freshness of experiencing this moment.
intelligence of the systems of the body to take care of you without any real thought most of the time. You don't need to think about the blood flowing. You don't need to think about the breath flowing. It's going to happen. You don't need to think about the electrical impulses of your heart or the synapses in your nervous system, the neurons. It's all happening. Maybe you can just rest in the experience of being. Just participating in the energy of being alive. In whatever way it's manifesting for you right now. The tide will come in, the tide will go out. The waves will come in, the waves will go out. And it's impossible to really stay in any stuck point, any fixed point in anything, because it's all moving. We can just appreciate a moment, appreciate this moment. Letting go, trying to hold on to any of it, just being able to experience the fluidity of what's really going on without trying to grip onto it, squeeze it down, capture it forever. Inviting yourselves to let go of any kind of holding that they've been holding on to that isn't helpful, that isn't serving you. So at a cellular level, receiving the nourishment, letting go of the waste, letting go of the past, even letting go of the future and just receiving this moment. Inviting movement to bubble up through your body. Maybe just through the breath and the blood flow, or maybe it's through your own sensory movement. And letting your body kind of motor babble. Letting the movement just babble like a baby learning language, your body learning movement. In a new way, maybe learning movement by learning to let go of tension, let go of planning. Just for the moments when you want to really dive into flow.
when I was a kid, there was a <laughs> something like in when I was like a little kid, we had this thing called motor performance, motor performance. Oh, I can do my motor skills really well. So let's let go of the performance and just let it be the experience, motor experience, feeling the experience of movement, motor babbling. No need to achieve anything. No need to excel, just a need to exist and to be, to be with, to withness, W-I-T-H-N-E-S-S, to withness yourself. That's a bio, a Komalafe reference. I heard him talking about that in a poetry panel, withnessing ourselves, withnessing each other. I don't need to just witness you. I can witness you. I can be with you in the field of your emotions, in the field of your experience, even in the field of your story. And if we can be in a sort of equanimitable place without judgment, and it isn't about good or bad, it's just about presence. Presence with self, presence with other. And that's one of the reasons why spending time in this type of practice and starting to actually really feel your own body and feel what's going a lot, a lot going on, allowing your body to process your own life's experience without your brain needing to get involved in telling the story, but letting the movement of your body work through some of the things you've been been through in your life or even this experience now, but being present with it, starting to crack away some of the armoring and the holding patterns and the resistance, the anchoring and letting yourself just float a little, little bit, letting yourself be with all the things without a need to judge, fix, or change. And when we can start to open that up, that dialogue with our own body, with our own sensation, it's easier to be in our life in a sense of flow or to know what we really feel very instantly. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's not okay. I have to say something now because I feel it so strongly in my body. I can't walk this path anymore. I now need to go over here. So allowing us to use the wisdom of our bodies to heal on a sort of profound level, to heal the patterning that has been culturally laid, laid on us, socially enforced, starting to allow the old patterning and the old cultural stickiness to break away. Finding those edge spaces where things shift. The inhale turns to the exhale. There's an emptiness. And then we fill back up again and there's a suspension and then we let it go. I'm actually going to stand for this. But feel free to be anywhere. All of this practice can happen in stillness, in movement, on the floor, quadrupedal, biped, however it feels good to you. And if you aren't certain, how would it feel good? Try things, just try different things. Oh yeah, it's like there's the cresting, right? 
cresting of the peak, dropping down into the valley and then coming back up again. and inviting these systems of our body, our body-mind into participation, right? Into full, healthful participation. And offering ourselves, like it could be a hands-on heart, hands-on belly, hands-on face, even just some self-touch, just to to soothe, to even soothe ourselves, to soothe ourselves. It's okay, heart. I can feel you. Thank you, right? It's okay, guts. You can take up some space. And even it's okay, mind, you can do all the dancing around you have to do. It's okay. It's only when we make things really not okay that we have to struggle with them. And if we can approach our body from a sensation place where, oh, a feeling place, uh, an appreciation place, like, oh, I get to move. This is amazing. I get to feel what this feels like as opposed to from an objectified outside perfectionist. It should look like that, that's not right. Oh, this is too big, that's too small. But if we're in the experience of being, it's a very different thing. Oh, totally made made it through all that stuff. Now we're in a little bit more slightly uplifting music, totally different musician. We'll just get through this last, yeah. Like this is like some kind of Serengeti plane with things bubbling up, animals popping out here and there. And here's the polyrhythms. And our bodies are these polyrhythms, these shifting, changing rhythms going on. Letting us honor that within ourselves. If you need to pop out, go ahead and pop out. Ah, Just letting yourself have a little bit bit of stillness before we totally end this. So sometimes with this kind of somatic work, when we're diving into movement, into breath, into sensation, 
it's not quite the same as taking a yoga class or a Pilates class where you might go in and come out feeling like, oh, I'm full of energy now. I'm, I feel great. This might feel like, oh, there's some stuff going on. And now I need a little bit more time to process that. So giving yourself all the self-care, water, time to process sleep, to process the, the stuff that might bubble up from your experience of somatic practices. And yeah, feel free in the, to just take more time to let it percolate, let it process. So this is something I feel is very important today in the lifestyles that we lead today when we have a thousand distractions happening at all times, to have some time where those distractions aren't available and to spend some time with yourself so that you can find what is going on? When every distraction happens, it's hard to really know what's going on. And when we have the time to be with ourselves and there's some time to process the things that are going on so that we can come to choices like, oh, that thing happened. How do I feel about that? It takes a little time sometimes to process that stuff or it could be old, old stuff that you're starting to process. So that can sometimes require more external support, friendships, psychotherapy, whatever it is. I just wanted to name that. So I'm gonna end the live stream and stay in the room.